welcome you back to Black Side Sports tonight. We're going to talk about Shakari Richardson's SJW fans trigger that she has been banned from the 100 meters in the Tokyo 2021 Olympics. First, I'd like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Shikari Richardson has been busted smoking marijuana and now has been banned from the 100 meters in this year's Olympics. Shikari Richardson goes on NBC News, the Today Show, and basically says, the excuse, excuse me, that her mother had died and she needed to smoke some weed to calm her down. The first thing I would like to know from Mrs. Richardson, who happens to be 21 years old, is that the USOC and many other organizations like the US Trade Track told them, do not take any drugs. This is drilled into them 24 hours a day, especially right before the Olympic trials. They know that there's gonna be a tremendous amount of testing, but Shikari Richardson did not care. She smoked the weed anyway. And I would like to know this, this simple question about this whole thing. Her mother passes away, which is a tough time for anyone. But who was the person that told her it's okay to smoke the weed. Anybody who's around you, knowing that you participate in track, knowing that you are going to the Olympics, knowing that you have the opportunity to be the next Flojo and make millions of dollars, who is the person that let you smoke the weed? Shikari has found out the hard way. Those people around her, she has no friends because that person would have told Shikari, no, go home and lay down. Go home and just sit there and relax, but you're not going to smoke this. We know that if you smoke this, you're going to get busted. You're one of the high profile athletes that may win a gold medal. So they're going to even check you more for the simple fact they don't want you to embarrass the whole Olympics. So they rather catch you before than after. Shikari has made a fool of herself. This is absurd that you can get this far. It takes you four years to get to a point to where you can compete in Olympics and possibly win a gold medal. You threw it all away just to get a feeling. And this is why I am not a fan of marijuana and legalizing it. For the simple fact, you got a lot of people out there who just want that feeling. And in the most important moment in her life, she made a huge mistake. Maybe people can learn from her mistake, but she not only embarrassed herself, but she financially destroyed her generational wealth. Yes, at 25, she'll be able to come back and make that money. But she had an opportunity to become one of the greatest female track athletes of all time. She just gave a gold medal to Shelly Ann Frazier of Jamaica. She had the ability to go out here and be a superstar. We only had so many with Flojo and so many others who have reached the pinnacle, especially for women, to make those type of dollars. If she would have went out there and won that gold medal, won the four by 100 relay. I don't know if she runs the 200, usually they do, but she had that type of potential and she gave it all away. Like I said, for a feeling. You have her fans on Twitter and many others blaming race. Race has nothing to do with it. What well, has something to do with it? She's disciplined when it comes to running track, training, and doing other things that make her 
a top athlete, but off the field, off the stage, off the track, she's a very undisciplined woman. And she's been smoking this weed for a long time. And she couldn't put it down when she most, most needed to at a time when you should be disciplined. She threw it all away. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.